famous science guy is uh, here joining us once again. And Gordon, I'm really excited when you're always on the show because uh, we always do lots of great experiments. And uh, what do you have for us today? What are we doing? Well, you'll get a real charge out of this. this well, literally. Is, I, I, the this electricity is static, in the air. Static electricity. <laughs> this is the famous Van de Graaff generator. It's actually a model of the real thing, which is about three stories high. Uh, it was three stories high. Mm -hmm. It was used for accelerating part nuclear particles. I'm just going to show you that it is charged. I'll turn it on. There's a belt running here which rubs against a cloth drum mm -hmm. and uh, that produces a charge. I can, I can feel it. You may even feel it over there. I don't know. I think it's probably... I see your, the, your uh, hair on your arm standing up. Yeah, it's starting to charge now. So what kind of wattage are we talking about there? I don't know what the wattage is not very much, but the, the voltage is very, you mean the voltage, I yes. guess. It's about half a million volts, which sounds terribly dangerous. It does. But uh, the current is extremely small. Just to show you its charge, so you can see it, this is a little, little electroscope. You can uh -huh. see it's obviously charged. Dome is charged. Now these are some of the most popular experiments, aren't they, when uh, kids go to, the, to a science center? Oh, well. this is the climax of any science show. Um, the Van de Graaff is very handy for classroom use because in some parts of British Columbia they actually have rain, you know, like, not yeah. like here. And they can't get a, a charge on, using the usual method, so the Van de Graaff is a big help to them. Um, one of my favorite demonstrations are flying saucers. These are flying saucers here. And this is gonna. This is their home base. It's a round top, so I have to tape down the first one. Otherwise, they all slide off. Okay, there's our launch pad, if you like. Uh huh. And here we go. And here's here's a few flying saucers, potential flying saucers. Here we go. One more. I see a few lids are going to be flipped here today. That's for sure. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, what's going to happen? Let's see. So they're like, oh, holy cow, look at that. We have liftoff. We have liftoff. Those, those are your flying saucers. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what, are we, what are we learning here? Well, we learned that uh, if objects have the same charge on them, they repel each other. Right. That's, uh, that's the main thing you learn from this. Um, another interesting application of this, well, if I want to uh, take the charge off, I just touch it with something like this. A coffee can works well because it has lots of grounds in it. Grounds charge. That's right. Good one. Now this you is and I are reading the same joke books, obviously. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> and that's a bad sign. So you're giving it a toupee there. I'm giving it a toupee. This is a rabbit's fur, and uh, I use this for producing static charge sometimes. But I always tell the, the, the uh, people at my science shows that I'm going to bring the rabbit back to life. So let's bring it back to life here. There we go. Here's a, this is definitely a hair-raising experience. It, it is, you know, more ways than one. <laughs> and he's back to life. Here we go. Wow. Sometimes it flies off. When you get cracking, you literally get cracking. That's for sure. Static electricity cracking. Okay. Okay, so are we ready for the piece uh, de resistance? We have a volunteer okay, here. Yes, our lovely assistant today, Kara Byers, usually behind the camera today, folks, working in front. Thanks for uh, submitting to this, Kara. Oh, no problem. This could be revolting, I'll warn you. <laughs> well, I hope you're taping this because you might want to see it later. Yeah, I see a, Chris, a segment in the Christmas party Thank video, you. folks. You know, we knew you had an electric, you know, electricity when you're around, Kara. This, is, this now proves that's, it. That's definitely working well. You have the right kind of hair for this, that's wow. for sure. Okay. okay, so how long is it going to take Static. Kara's hair to go back there? I know well, it's actually, tough, it's, it will probably stay that way the rest of her life. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. No, not really. I'm going to, don't, don't step down yet. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. And if you take your hands off and stay on the, you're, she's standing on a, a, plat, a styrofoam platform, so she's insulated. Mm -hmm. And her hair will stay that way until the charge leaks away, which it won't do on a dry day like this. So if, if the whole floor was made of styrofoam, you'd stay like that all day. But as soon as you step down... Then her hair. And, no, not it's quite. So semi returns. Still normal. a little bit insulated, but it'll go away eventually. Maybe about four weeks, and then it'll be gone. Not really. It'll be gone in a few minutes. So, Gordon, I guess uh, people <laughs> in the audience looking at that going, ohm, ohm. Because today's, cause today's <laughs> experiments, of course, electricity. That was electricity, static electricity, and uh, 
Excellent. Well, thanks for that's joining all, us. That's about all we have. Yeah, so okay. you're going to take a few weeks off and, and join us later, I would so imagine. That's, that's up to you guys. Yeah. Well, okay. it was fun. Thanks Thank you. Much. Thank you. Gordon Gore, of course, a former science teacher actually here in the Canlis District, our, our science guy. When we come back, we'll talk about the Canlis Interior Summer School of Music, that and a whole lot more. You're watching TV7 Midday.